Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know, it's been estimated that a very talkative person could speak 30,000 words a day. That means it'd be very wise to ask ourselves a very important question. How do our words, be they many or few, how do they affect other people? I'm sure we all know that words can be powerful and they can bring about evil or they can bring about good. Words can hurt or injure. Words can soothe or heal. Words can mislead or words can guide. Words can communicate information or insult and injure. So each of us is responsible for the words and the types of words that come out of our mouth. Proverbs 12, 18 says, there is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Wow. I mean, forget sticks and stones. Here it says that the words of a speaker who is thoughtless or reckless are compared to sword thrusts into your belly and that they're extremely wounding and hurtful. But the words of the wise bring peace and confidence and strengthening. Bottom line, good words promote good healing. You know, it's easy to pattern the way we talk by the standards of the world and to say things we really shouldn't just to get the results we're looking for. Or sit through any TV show or a sitcom. 10 minutes in, you're gonna see exactly what I mean. The most popular comedy style is to make fun of someone else. There's this natural tendency to use the words that we say to get the results that we want rather than using words to get the results that God wants or even just to bring encouragement to somebody else. So we should encourage one another because we truly love one another and we want the best for one another. Therefore, we should choose to speak only words of encouragement, words of beauty and words of life. There's no room in Christ's church for discouragement, cruelty, hatred, gossip. We can get all of that from the world. But here at church, we should find encouragement and hope and love and peace and joy and health. This week, we're looking at living our best life and we'll be making a new commitment to being thankful, hopeful, loving, and encouraging to everyone we meet. We invite you to join us at Walden Church. Sunday morning, we have two services, one at 9.30, which is our traditional service where we sing hymns, we have a choir, and then we have an 11 o'clock service, more contemporary service with a worship band, and that's also when we have our children's program and youth group. We also have youth group during the week on Wednesdays at six. You can send your kids over on their skateboards or their bikes. We'll even feed them dinner and we'll send them back to you in about an hour and a half. Hey, let us know how we can serve you. Walden Church wants to be the church where you live. I'll see you guys soon, bye.